<laughs> Day one of Sedona Mountain Bike Festival 2022. I take my Ibis Ripmo brand new bike on a short ride with Kenny and check out some vendors. Snow coming down at the beer, the beer tent. Drew's <laughs> working at the academy now. I heard. This is so yep. dope. I love it. <laughs> you yep. Wrangle those kids. Yeah, so I'm off all weekend though. I was like, no I, way. I, I told How'd you manage him. that? Because I asked for it like last festival. I'm sure you see a lot of people that you know. Right. Right tons of shoes. What size you got on this? I wear a 13. How's it feel? Yeah, oh, yeah they're comfortable. Honestly, they're really comfortable. Sorry, you're probably already grilling them on dissectors, but um, <laughs> uh, two six. Do you guys make double downs in no. two six at all? Do, no. We did do an original run of some dual ply uh, double down two six tires for a brand, but we haven't done anything internally. Okay. I'm hoping the new XO Plus that we uh, unveiled will kind of help with that. Yeah. We'll see. I was gonna ask. That it's, was my next yeah, question. It's, it's a what weird... did you guys improve on that? Was that... so basically what we did is. We moved from a uh, purely 120 TPI, which is uh, a finer casing, which is also puncture resistant. Yeah. So we moved to a, a 60 TPI for everything. It's more but durable. It, yeah, yeah, more durable casing. And instead of having bead to bead protection plus EXO, we went with EXO plus butyl, which is from the double from the dual ply tire. Oh, uh, okay. We're double down specifically. Okay. So that will help 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 with the pitch plats a lot better. For sure, sweet. You know, it's just trying to do the dual ply two six tires. Yeah, it's still a little weird. Yet, yeah, so. and it's super heavy too. The yeah. the double down, it's like even the two four oh, on a double down, it's super heavy. But but also I've pinch flatted and torn so many up here, the XO ones on my rears that I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of got it. Probably better off going like XO plus front dual ply rear. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. That's what I've kind of been running. Yeah, understandable. So, sweet. Yeah, we're we're continually going to the drawing board to see what we can figure out. So, yeah, sweet. Yeah, hopefully be you know there'll yeah. be some time out, but we're we're working on it. For yeah, sure. no, I mean overall I still love your guys' tires. So awesome. yeah, really yeah, it. yeah. Make sure you guys get sweet. some stickers. And oh yeah, awesome. Slap bracelets. Just, cool. Just oh, slap bracelets. That's what that is. Nice. And the reflective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks. You too. Good, how are you? So I got some DVO suspension I on my that. Ritmo. Looking good? Yeah, I love it so far. Um, I was kind of wondering if you could explain to me a little more about the off the top stuff. Yes. So what will happen over time is your fork heats up, yeah. cools up, the air that's trapped in the lower legs will expand. Okay. So what those will do, like 
you can just get in a habit of once a month or when you're airing up your tires or whatever yeah just press these valves okay and what that'll do is it'll just release any pressure that's built up in the lower okay because that pressure buildup will act as a secondary spring for sure and not allow you to get full travel all right yeah okay i get you yeah nice right on yeah sweet so it's just something just like a Especially if you go from Little. higher altitudes to yeah. lower altitudes. I do that a lot here. Yeah. I live here and I go going up to Flag, Flag and Phoenix yeah. all the time. So you'll find so that yeah. th those altitude changes, yeah. that air pressure, it's an ambient air pressure, yeah. right? So it'll change based on heat, altitudes, totally. different things like yeah. that. So. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I know. I notice that on other forks too. In the summertime, it's like you got to run them stiffer anyways in yeah. the summer because every all the oil's way, yeah, way looser and yeah, yeah it's, exactly. it's weird. Yeah. 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 So sweet. Awesome. Thank you so much for, no your, for your insight. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. But, um, that's Earl Grey and all that is is it's Earl Grey like... tea, sugar and scoby. There's no flavoring in there other than the tea. Gotcha. Um, Dang. It's one of my favorites. Awesome. Cool, man. But, Sweet. Uh, yeah, give her a go. Thank yeah. you, man. I appreciate Cheers. that so much. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we machine everything in house, manufacture everything in house. I don't know if you know about Reap. But... Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Small group of people. Where are you guys based out of again? It's Colorado. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's near uh, Boulder. Nice. Yeah. Sweet, yeah. 100 year old barn. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's the, those are the good bikes, you know? We think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Sweet. You guys are here all three days or what? Yeah. 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 Awesome. I'll have to get a, I'll have to get a banana later. So. All right. So Sweet. We'll be here till six today. Awesome. Cool. Eight tomorrow. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. But people who are skidding or lurching a lot while they're under heavy braking, that'll really um, affect your confidence. So if you find yourself doubting yourself, maybe you need to do some more braking drills.